Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to insert and update records into destination table using OLEDB command transformation in SSIS. So OLEDB command transformation is one of the transformation in data flow task. It is used to run the SQL statements and do the operations like insert, update and delete statements in the data flow. So it, it is by using this OLEDB and command transformation, the, it will read the data compared with the reference table by each row. So the, this is because uh, when you used uh, this OLEDB transformation in your package, if your database and reference table is very much high at the time, by using this transformation, your package performance is getting degraded and slow even though it is used this uh, this transformation is used at the time of the incremental load um, from the so while comparing the data from the source to the destination table we can also use this uh, transformation for insertion and uh, updations and deletes now i will show how to insert and how to update the records using this transformation into the destination table this is my table it contains uh, four records and two columns. So, uh, coming to my source document, text document, it also contains the ID and name, but it contains six records. So, when you compare the data here, uh, first record is India, and second is Australia, and third is England, and fourth is West Indies in, uh, in my database tables. Coming to my source document, first record is India, second is Pakistan, third is Malaysia, fourth is West Indies, and fifth and sixth are the uh, new records. So after executing this package, second and third uh, IDs are updated, names uh, name, name of the countries are updated, and fifth and sixth will be inserted. So I will show how to do this in this demo. So this is my new package. I am writing the data flow task inside the control pane. Double click to configure. So since my source document is test document, I am putting the flat file source. So browse the file where it is located. And go to columns. So here we need to change the data, data to for the compatibility with the destination table. I am taking this as a 4 byte signed integer and name length of the name change it to 20. So if you go to preview and click OK. So now you drag the lookup transformation. Before we using the OLDP command, first you drag the lookup transformation, connecting with the flat file source, double click. So click no cache, specify how to handle the rows with no matching entries. I want to take this option, redirect rows to no match output. Go to connection. And selecting the connection, sports is my database. I am selecting the table to return coordinations and go to columns. So, here you need know, to map the ID with source to destination column. So, I am mapping with the ID and click this one, click OK. Configuration is done for lookup. Now I am writing OLDB command transformation. So here I am starting it only lookup for match output, and obviously, second one is. 
so while uh, double click to configure in connection manager you have to select your con database connection sports connection category component properties here I'm changing by name as update update records so this transformation i am using for update records so coming to sql command here you have to write the command update command here so i am writing update create nation at the table name set name name e is equal to question mark where id is equal to question mark so i am copying this update statement so this question mark will replace while mapping the parameter mapping so click okay and go to column mappings here we need to map your columns so i am taking the id sorry not id i am taking in a statement first one is set name so first we have to map the name name condition second question mark is id so i am taking this as id and click okay so update records transformation is done successfully now i am going to for instance taking the same database go to properties change the name of name here as insert the records insert records and select your sql command here and write insert statement so here insert statement is insert into your table name values within parentheses so you need to pass two values id and name question mark comma question mark and copy this statement insert statement paste it in the window, query window and click ok oh sorry need to do mapping so click on column map here we need to map so first here we need to id insert the value first is the id1 id second is the name so accordingly you have to select your columns id and name this is somewhat different from the uh, update records in update what we uh, first we select the name in where condition there is id so first your first column is, is mapped with the parameter 0 and second column mapped with the parameter 1 as per the query and as per the uh, columns you, you have to map accordingly so all set so once we run the package so here second and third second id will uh, update it with pakistan and third id will update it with uh, bangladesh and fifth and sixth will be new records will be inserted okay going to run the package you now package run successfully six rows it, it read uh, from platform source and move to the lookup transformation from then it will move to four ma four match records are there we already seen four match record and uh, lookup transformation no match records are two rows you go and uh, run your table here 
the data in the world as per the source document. Earlier we have in England and uh, Australia in two and second and uh, see here earlier in the database table second is Australia and third is England. Now it has replaced with second is Pakistan, third is Bangladesh, fourth one as it is West Indies, and fifth and sixth will be new instances in the table. So in this way you have to update or you have to insert using OLB command. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.